Let's head to the code build service, then click on create build project and give it a name. Under the source section, select the repository that we just created. Consider this, you have your code saved in your AWS code commit repository, and now you want to create a build project using AWS code build. Can you do this in a few steps using the AWS console? Let's find out. Let's start by navigating to the code commit service, then click on create repository and give it a name. Hit create, then confirm that you see git clone instructions under step three. Next, let's head to the Cloud9 service, click on create environment and give it a name. I'm going to leave all the other settings to their default values, hit create, then click on open Cloud9 IDE. Navigate to the bash terminal, then copy paste the git clone command. Use the cd or the change directory command to go inside your repo, then let's bring the lambda underscore function dot py file in our workspace. The code starts by importing the requests and the JSON module. Then on line eight, I'm calling this API to grab the current NYC weather information. On line 12, I'm printing the current NYC temperature in Fahrenheit. Finally, on line 17, I'm calling the lambda underscore handler method if this Python file is executed directly as a script. Let's save this file in the current directory, then bring in our requirements.txt file. Here, I'm specifying my requests module because it's an external dependency. Let's save this file in the current directory as well, then bring in our buildspec.yaml file. In this file, I'm specifying two phases, build and post build. Under build, I'm installing all the dependencies specified in the requirements.txt file. And under post build, I'm first printing out the local Python version, then executing the lambda underscore function dot py file. Let's save this file in the current directory as well, then run the git add command to add these three files to our commit index. Next, let's commit these files using the git commit command with the hyphen m option to specify the commit message. Finally, I'm going to push these files to my master branch using the git push command. Looks like everything worked as expected. Let's confirm this by going back to the code commit window, then go inside your repository. Next, let's head to the code build service, then click on create build project and give it a name. Under the source section, select the repository that we just created, then choose the master branch. Under environment, I'm going to select managed image with an operating system of Amazon Linux. Let's choose standard for runtime with the 5.0 image. Since my build spec file is already using the default name, we don't have to specify it in the build spec section. In the artifact section, I'm going to select Amazon S3 and pick a test bucket with the packaging type of zip. Let's leave all the other settings to their default values, then hit create build project. Hit start build, then verify that your build status changes to in progress. Give it a few minutes for the build to complete until the status changes to succeeded. Scroll down to the build logs and confirm that in the build phase, the requests module and all its dependencies were successfully installed. In the post build phase, you can see the local Python version and the output of the lambda underscore function dot py file. On line 58, you can confirm that the current temperature of NYC was successfully printed. On line 69, looks like our build artifacts were also successfully uploaded to the S3 bucket. 
Let's confirm this by going to the S3 service. There you have it. But before you go, here's a question for you. Why was the AWS code build project always in great shape?